This is the ultimate optimizations video. After watching this, you won't need to watch other videos because I included everything, even how to improve your ping. So yeah, make sure to watch till the end. And also, just the editing of this video took me 8 plus hours. So I will really appreciate it if you could leave a like and sub. Enjoy. Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. So this video is actually part 2 of this video which has over 365,000 views. Like, that's huge. Thanks a lot for that. So in today's video, I'm going to show you optimizations that are even better than that video. And I'm also going to show you solutions to the most discussed problems in the comment section of the last video. Which by the way counts up to 1.5 thousand comments. And I'm really proud to say that I have replied to every single one of you guys. I'm also gonna try to answer all the comments on this video, so yeah. If you got any questions, just let me know. First, I'm going to show you how much FPS we are getting before doing any optimizations and doing everything opposite of optimizations. So let's get started. Alright guys, I just stole it into the creative map. This is the normal 1v1 one one map we all play. So as you can see on the top right corner, we are getting around 20 to 30 FPS, which is like really really bad. And we are not even on like the highest settings, we are still on performance mode and stuff. And the ping is really high as well, like 40, 50. I'm going to show you some ping optimizations as well. So yeah, and after the optimizations, I'm going to show you how it performs afterwards. So starting off with the most important step for people who play on laptop. So your laptop must be plugged in. If you aren't using it plugged in, you're losing out on almost half of the FPS. So yeah, use it plugged in. Alright guys, so the first thing you want to do is to open Epic Games Launcher. Let me full screen it and you want to head into library by the way don't worry about the screen i switched to my television because as you could see in the previous clip my lap so now you want to go into those three dots and click on options after that you need to untick anything that you don't need like you can't untick this the first one but you want to and take as many things as possible if you need any other language besides english you can keep it as well but yeah after that hit apply and close out okay so after you open settings you need to search for game bar and turn it on after that go to this captures the second option and turn everything off now go on game bar and turn that off as well after that search for background app click on it and turn everything off you don't need i will turn it completely off because i don't need any of this and i recommend doing that for the best performance now search for clipboard and turn it off i can't change this at the moment because i'm not on my account right now but yeah you want to turn it off to free up your ram you want to search for storage sense after it comes up click on it and turn it off so what this basically does is it's always looking for files which is gonna use your system's resources that's why i recommend to turn it off after that head into the browser you use and turn off starter boost and hardware acceleration all browsers should have this option for instance, Chrome and Microsoft Edge, which I personally use, have this option and you want to turn these options off. These take a lot of resources of your system. You can do this with Discord as well. I don't use Discord at all on my laptop, that's why I don't have it here. But yeah, if you use it, turn that off in there as well. After that, go into the Windows icon and search for percentage, temp, percentage open that folder and delete everything if you need anything from there just copy into some other folder otherwise click ctrl a and delete it all if it says that something could not be deleted just click skip all right so the next thing you want to do is head into task manager if you don't know how to open task manager just right click on the windows icon and click task manager after the task manager has popped up, 
go on to the startup tab and disable every single one of these apps. If you need anything enabled, keep it enabled, otherwise disable it like I am doing it. Alright, what you want to do now is head into settings, search for power, this one, go there, make sure you are in this one, power and sleep, click additional power settings, and this should pop up. Click change plan settings, click change advanced power settings, and choose high performance if you see here. If you don't see it, just do what I do now. Now open CMD and run as administrator. What you want to do is head into description box and you will see these two commands. Copy the first one, head into CMD and paste it. After that, click enter and run. Now copy the second command, head into CMD and paste it. After that hit enter and yup. After that go back into settings, click additional power settings again. And now as you can see, you can see high performance as well. Now search for CMD, right click on it and click run as administrator. Click yes and write this code. This is like one of the best methods to improve your ping. So yeah, it's gonna help you a lot with your ping. I'll show you after we have completed all the optimizations how much of an impact it had. And you can find this code in the description box as well. After the code has been successfully run, restart your system. So, after your PC has been restarted, you want to download this file from the description box. You can find its link in the comment section as well. It will be a Google Drive file, you just want to click on it and download it. After it's been downloaded, it will show up like this. After that, you want to click on it, right click on it, and click extract to. A file will be extracted, as you can see here. Now you have to click this Windows button and search for this. You want to open this folder and search for Fortnite game, this one. Double click on it, save, config, and Windows client. And you want to drag that file into the Fortnite game folder. Right click on it, properties, and make sure read only is untick. After that hit apply and ok. Now I'll switch over to my laptop screen to show you what optimizations you have to do in Fortnite and some other things you can do as well. Alright, after Fortnite has launched, you want to click on the Windows button on your keyboard. Right click on the Windows icon here and click Task Manager. You have to go to Details, Fortnite Launcher, set Priority, High. And that was it. So close Task Manager and go back to Fortnite. Go to your settings. And in the settings, make sure to keep your frame rate limit one up than your green's refresh rate. For me, it's 60, so I'll put it to 120. But for the purpose of this video, I'll put it to unlimited. Make sure your rendering mode is performance. Turn down the 3D resolution to around 80. If it is still lagging, you can make it even lower, like 30 or so. Let's make it 50 for this video. Make sure everything is as low as possible. Go to settings, scroll down, and make sure all your replays are off. And that was it. Let's test the FPS now. Now, you know what, let's put the 3D resolution to 30%. Because I feel like 50% is still a lot. Let's put it to 30. By the way, that CMD command we used for the ping helped a lot because before in the brackets it said like 34 milliseconds and now it says 19. So yeah, definitely try it out. Yeah, so as you can see, we're getting around 120 to 100 FPS. So we almost like tripled the amount of FPS we were getting. So yeah, that's that's really, really awesome. I mean, I can't feel more than 60 FPS on my screen because my screen is only 60 Hz, but still. Let me know in the comments if you want to see me play Bell Royale on this thing. So yeah, that was it for the after comparison. Now let's get into the most discussed problems in the comments of the last video. So in this video, I'm going to show only three most discussed problems, but if you have more problems, just ask me in the comment. So the first problem and the most asked question in the comment section was how to reset it. So to reset it, 
go to Windows item, search for percentage, local app data, percentage. Open that folder, go to format again, saved, config, Windows client, and delete that file. After it's been deleted, go out and open Fortnite. After you open Fortnite, it will automatically replace that file with a new one. So yeah, that's how to reset it. The second most discussed problem in the comment section was how to download it. Because some of you were having like server issues and stuff. Because it was some random website. That's why this time I have replaced that website with Google Drive. So it's going to be quite easy. You, you just need to copy the link from the description box like this. Go into your browser and paste it. After the website has been opened, you'll see something like this. Just click on this download button and the file will be downloaded. The third most discussed problem was that you can't see the high performance tab. In this video, I've already showed how to fix it. So yeah, that was ACES for video. Make sure to subscribe because that's the only reason I get motivated to make new parts, make new videos and reply to all of the comments. So yeah, if you have any problem, just ask me in the comments. Please see you in the next one.